Well, Leah Michelle is a senior research fellow at the Institute for National Strategic Studies in Washington, D.C. It was formerly the director for NATO policy within the office of the Secretary of Defense. Joins me now from Washington, D.C. Thanks so much for being with us. How do you read the situation now? Has handover of command been resolved? Well, as of just a few minutes ago, NATO hasn't made a public announcement yet. That's what the news reports are saying. But generally, uh, in past operations, how this has worked is that once a political agreement is reached, then the NATO military structures, which have already done planning for these operations, contingency planning, can actually set in, in motion the military operations and coordination necessary through a, a very well-established NATO procedure. How might this handover, as it's developing, impact the operations being undertaken, especially we're hearing now talk of a no-drive zone, perhaps, as well as a no-fly zone? Well, the NATO military authorities operate under the guidance provided to them by the North Atlantic Council, and those are the ambassadors of all of the 28 NATO allies who are there in Brussels. So they will get their... Uh, guidance on how to proceed with the operations, and they will then proceed to the practical implementation. All right. Um, why is it proving so tricky? Well, I, I think it's proving tricky for a number of uh, political reasons, really. One is that uh, different allies, and this is not unusual. This has been the, the case in past operations in Bosnia, in Kosovo, and in Afghanistan. Different allies have different political calculations, uh, different political concerns, and different domestic constituencies. So you have to get the politics right. And um, also the fact that NATO may take a de decision, which is always done by consensus, to launch an operation doesn't mean that every ally uh, is forced in any way to make a military contribution. It's still up to the nations to decide how they want to contribute and which forces they would contribute to the actual military operations. Right. Is it working, I guess, is a key question here. Is it clear what the goal is? Well, I think it is clear what the goal is. NATO is operating under a mandate from the United Nations Security Council. And so their, their real mandate is what the UN Security Council resolution tells them to do uh, with regard to uh, stopping the the atrocities uh, committed by the Libyan government and stopping the attack uh, on civilians. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Thanks so much, Leo Michel.